Hello together and welcome back to our live stream. We're here at the Technical University of Berlin where the Raw Materials Summit takes place. You may now wonder what's the Raw Materials Summit all about. This event takes place today for the second time. Um, the first time was last year in 2017, organized by TU Berlin, the Dechema and Covestro. And those organizers set together again to organize another round for the summit for this year. So today we're meeting up here with members of politics, of the society, the industry and academia to discuss new ways for an innovative and sustainable chemical and plastics industry that uses alternative raw materials and saves fossil resources. So we're discussing the potential of CO2 and biomass as alternative resources. My name is Anne Kutz and I'm working in the new technologies team of the Covestro Innovation Department. We are a team of technology scouts that looks for innovative technology trends and developments in different kinds of areas. Our areas focus, for example, on composites, flame retardancy and electrochemistry. A strong focus is on sustainable chemistry. Here we are constantly looking for bio-based raw materials or alternative building blocks, for example, drop-in molecules, near drop-in molecules or novel molecules that can be implemented into our polyurethane or polycarbonate um, chemistry. So with this area of interest, we are strongly engaged with research groups and startups focusing on um, bio-based raw materials that work on um, developing new bio-based um, building blocks. So speaking of um, startups, the organizers called out on startups um, to apply for the um, award as Resource Innovator 2018. So the startups that were selected from about 27 startup applicants um, have already pitched in front of the audience. And they have also pitched for you in some kind of elevator pitches. Hi, my name is Christians. I am from Polylabs. We are producing bio-based polyols for the polyurethane industry. Polyols are one of the most important uh, materials for the polyurethane production. Using our products, companies can switch from, uh, from crude oil to bio-based materials. In our production, we use natural oils as raw materials, and our production does not create any waste or any byproducts. So this allows our products to be uh, less expensive in the market. So I'm very happy to be here on the Farewell Oil event and uh, pitch on the stage. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Sophia Hamblin Wong and I'm the Chief Operations Officer for MCI, Mineral Carbonation International. We transform carbon dioxide into building materials and other valuable carbonate products just like this one. This brick represents a game changer for global emissions. Imagine if companies treated their CO2 as a resource that could create valuable products instead of a harmful waste. Thank you. Hi, my name is Baptiste. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Nanodrain, the next generation Zintivik Technologies. We make renewable energies and e-mobility efficient, and that's obviously important to reduce the production of carbon dioxide. We are an incorporate company since 2014 and, an, and a TU spin-off. And today I'm at Resource Summit at TU Berlin and I'm very happy to be here. So, see you soon. Hello, I'm Pallavi Prasad. Today I'm here to present about battery nanotechnologies. Battery nanotechnologies is a lithium ion battery startup coming from Michigan, United States. What we're trying to do over at Battery Nanotechnologies is make an innovation on the cathode, um, where we're replacing the traditional conductor, carbon, with an alternative salt, which results in higher lithium intercalation between the two electrodes, leading to higher capacity. We're also changing the substrate in, from foil to foam, and the result is that we're seeing is a safer battery that combusts at higher temperatures. And we hope that this will be commercialized soon. We've, we're very excited to be here today, and we thank you for your time. Hi, my name is Rick Lane, and I'm the CTO for Myasil. Carbon thermal reduction of sand plus carbon gives metallurgical grade silicon. The process is equipment and energy intensive and uh, produces a lot of CO2. Metallurgical grade silicon is then modified in many ways to make silicon containing compounds. We found a way to use rice ash to do the same thing with antifreeze and a trace of base. 
So in this exact moment, Markus Steilemann is announcing the Resource Innovator of 2018. So let's see what is going on stage. Yes, and some perspective. I think it is in your context very important um, to consider the entire raw materials change. You have uh, quite some energy intensive steps. So I think to make the process even further viable in terms of a uh, process that really improves the overall footprint and that really helps us also to really uh, capture and sequestrate um, uh, carbon dioxide, you need to think about this very energy intensive steps. The second topic is you have a couple of metals that obviously are coming out of the process um, that you actually take out of the process and you have to do something with them. And if I'm thinking about chromium, uh, I have some ideas that it might be a huge challenge. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I think uh, you're in a good way. Uh, you have successfully shown that there is an opportunity to commercialize and we just want to encourage you to continue this path. And in this context, it's also important that you continue to work with a huge team uh, to assess the viability of your overall market and your overall idea. Congratulations again. Yeah, great. Well done. Okay. Thank you. That's, that's for you. And So we just saw the um, announcement of the winner of the Resource Innovator Award and that is the um, company Mineral Carbonation International from Australia. Sophia pitched her idea earlier today and I think that's a really, really great idea. She, the company is transforming CO2 together with minerals into building materials. Sophia told us a lot of, about their company and I think it's a very exciting idea um, that she came up with. So thank you for tuning in for our live stream from the Raw Materials Summit 2018 here from Berlin. Um, I hope you liked our um, insights that you got today. Leave us a comment, give us a like and see you soon. Bye.